All right, let's talk about something that's uh, just as racist. Uh, the Redskins and, and your defensive coordinator, Jack Del Rio. Sir, you want, do you want to address his tweets? For first time <laughs> hosting, that's a hell of a segue, even though I didn't appreciate it. There you are. <laughs> you, got some, you got some snaps for your segue. You get some snaps, but fuck you. <laughs> <sighs> All right, what do we want to talk about? Jack Del fucking Rio? Yep, your mans. Get your mans. He's kind of a man. I don't know he is. Somebody's got to get him. <laughs> so, Jack Del Rio, I'm looking at his Twitter right now. So, Jack okay. Del Rio went off on Twitter as far as uh, a few things over the last uh, few days. There was um, the fake Ale Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Uh, yeah, that was hit. funny. He then retweeted and said, really, dude, what the fuck? Um, and then everybody was like, killing was like, yo, this is a fake fucking story. What's wrong with you? Then he goes into um, the Sports Illustrated article about the business of playing football and health and safety. I think most players understand the risk of playing the game of football. The priority is not time to be perfectly safe. If so, perhaps you should never drive your car. Then um, he goes in the, the – what, the AOC? Yeah, wow, proof. Come on, AOC. Then he posts a black, a black woman talking good things about Trump. And it's like, all right, this is not going to a good place right now. Then, it, it <laughs> then one of the Redskins fans uh, posts, just found out Jack Del Rio is a Trump supporter. Wish these old racists would stay off of Twitter. Jack Del Rio replies, I'm 100% for America. If you're not, you can kiss my ass with a dollar sign, Tresses. Um, <laughs> Like, what is he doing? At first, I thought he was hacked. Yeah, I do, no. too. I do, I too. Hoped, no, I, hoped I he told was, you he wasn't. I know, I know. Because I knew. I knew what it was when I mean, he coached us. You can look us. at Jack Del Rio and you can tell where which way he's gonna fall on some shit. But I'm saying, I knew what up. it was. Even though he his his last name is Del Rio, it's probably fake. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't look like a Del Rio. He but... ate a good taco in San Diego and named himself after the fucking stand. <laughs> oh god! When we uh, played y'all in DC after the whole shit with like when Trump became a thing. That's when our team crumbled because we went twelve and four, like right before. What does that have to do with anything, then? He ruined our team with his politics. He ruined like, your I, team. Yeah. He was the ghost of. It divided the whole locker room. Oh, did he? Yeah. That, that that was that was the reasoning. No, Derek Carr broke his leg. <laughs> okay, there we are. Suck. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> saying we went twelve and four. Y'all still Derek paying Jerry Porter? Huh? Nothing. Go ahead. I was like. Don't bring up Jerry. Jerry was a great ass receiver. But yeah, he screwed up our team. We fired him. He was out of the league. Didn't even get like a defensive coordinator position. Kind of know why. And then he winds up with y'all. And I'm like, okay, have fun. Good luck. And I, I told you this was going to happen. It has I, not. I don't remember. So far, he told you when we fired him that he was a drum supporter. And I was like, our whole at the time our whole offensive line was black. Right after right after Trump tweeted all that shit about like I don't want to hear any of this shit. Okay. No, nah, <laughs> nah, you're gonna hear a lot more, but it's gonna be about your team this time. What else does needs to be known about my team? Dan Snyder is one of Trump's biggest donors. We have a <laughs> racist team name. George Preston Marshall's statue just came back. Because I hate black people. <laughs> it must be. I hate myself. That's the only reason I'm a wrestling fan. <laughs> it's got to be. This is the only thing that I, I've been I've been trying to figure that out for a while now. Why do I? Why am I a Redskins fan? Because I hate my people. Like that's got to be at a core. Why I'm a Redskins fan? I'm a piece of shit. That's why I'm a Redskins fan. There's wow. no other explanation. You could easily be a Ravens fan. Fuck you. I'm a Redskins <laughs> fan. Damn it. <laughs> All right. I don't give a shit what city I live in, all these fucking purple-wearing bitches. Um, <laughs> look, there's no – I feel like I have Stockholm Syndrome. I feel like I'm with a spouse that beats the everlasting shit out of me. Sorry not to make light for domestic violence. I know it's but not I, a serious thing. But, but I, I love find it serious. But I love him so much. <laughs> it's the, it, There's no reason to support the team. They don't win. The game suck to go to. The stadium's trash. The team name is racist as shit. Don't give a fuck what anybody says. Um, our owner is an absolute piece of dog shit. 
that the only reason I was trying to give him any credit was opening up a parking lot for COVID patients? whoop de fucking do Like, it doesn't make any sense. I'm a worse... I don't, I don't hide it. I'm a worse off person for being a Redskins fan. You like it. You're, you're a little bit of a... Uh... Dude, there's a part of the reason why I'm so not wanting necessarily take, like, big stances politically when it comes to videos and stuff. Like, I've been really deep when, like, talking about Black Lives Matter and everything. And I've had people... This is going to sound so egotistical. But I've had people come to me and say, man, you talk so well. Like, you should be a leader of this. I'm like, no. There's so many skeletons in my closet. Number one skeleton is not my closet. I'm a fucking Redskins fan. <laughs> <laughs> How far am I going to get telling anybody what to do morally? You're going to do one spot on TV and someone's going to be like, well, this Redskins fan. And everyone's going to be like, ah, Trump supporter and completely <laughs> discount last, you. Last week, girlfriend sitting right next to me. We saw talking about the Redskins. She grabbed my Redskins hat and started flashing in the air. Like, ha ha, you hypocritical son of a bitch. And I'm just like, I, I got nothing to say. Can't do nothing about it. <laughs> so I'm saying Jack Del Rio being what he is doesn't, I mean, it, it's part It shouldn't surprise course. you, which it doesn't. It, no, it's just still. me trying to trying to find some sort of. I'm going through mental gymnastics and jujitsu to justify some sort of semblance of rooting for this team. You don't but, have to. Like you can pull a Ryan. Ryan's perfectly I, happy. I, I moved to the Bills and we got Jake Fromm. But uh, you make no sense as a person. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> yeah, Jake I know. Terrible. I'm from Washington, 51st state, by the way. I'm from I'm from Washington. This is my fucking city. I love DC. Um, I hate that we don't have new ownership and a new don't team. Don't you have it like? I mean, the, but the skins like they. Uh, never mind. What? Never mind. They they in the training camp in Virginia. Not anymore. They, where they move? Well, yeah, kind of. I mean, not Richmond, Ashburn now. Yeah, like yeah. Virginia. Then the stadiums in Maryland. Yep. They'll never play in D.C. again as long as the team name is the team name. We know oh, that yeah. for a fact. But it's just like, we look historically, the Redskins are just, they're the bad guys. And I understand. Easily go to, the like, the Ravens. I'm not going to the Ravens. I'm not some fucking hop one. I root for my hometown. That's all I ever, I'll forever do. I root for my fucking hometown. I will it's probably in the same place. Still root for the Redskins. This isn't my hometown. This is just where I live. It ain't I my fucking home. <laughs> all right. What's your hometown then? Washington, D.C. That's where I'm from. Howard right. University Kids Hospital, don't baby. Play in D.C. They're still from, they still rep D.C. It used ones. to be the, the Redskins were the team of the South. It was. They don't rep uh, it well. I'll say hell, that. Hell to the Redskins, Hell Victory, Braves on the Warpath, Fight for Old Dixie was the name of was what the lyrics were to the fight song. Um, we, were the, we were the team of the South. You go to Georgia, still a bunch of racist ass Redskins fans down there. You go to Carolina, still a bunch of races. They're Redskins the people fans, voting right? against the name change. A hundred percent. It's the only reason <laughs> it's the only reason Snyder hasn't changed the name yet is that that is one sect of the population of Redskins fans. He can't lose at this point. Because most yeah. of them up here in this area, like you just said, are now Ravens fans, or they don't give a fuck about football. Well, it's going to be like the uh, whole Confederate flag thing for NASCAR once uh, – once the NFL allows kneeling, all those racist Georgia fans are going to fuck right off, and then he can change the name. Well, Maybe. That, uh, that's my hope is that enough of it just passes by where the, all those racist assholes are just kind of off of it. That's why right before we started the podcast, I sent you guys a link of the San Francisco 49ers are now going to be flying a Black, flag, Black Lives Matter flag. That's awesome. Next to, the, next to the 49er flag and next to the uh, American flag. You mm-hmm. go through the comments on that. Uh, that's why I haven't watched the NFL in how many years. They're letting these monkeys do this, that, and the other. Like, it's just... I don't think that's PC. You can't say that. The race is fucks. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Like, they care um, about being PC. They eat so in, no, not you. Like, for them. No, it's, no, like they're out, they it's like they're outing them themselves on, on social yeah, media. Like, the only good part about they've it. been doing it for a while. Now, now people just care. Like, a lot I've more been, people uh, care now. I've been perusing through uh, my alternate Twitter account, which has shown me that... <laughs> you have a burner a, Twitter? Well, it was well. It's not a burner you Twitter. Fishing people on Twitter? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, it's when when I when I discovered Black Twitter, um, I made oh, a, yeah. I made a second account. What's your DeAndre? Is that your name? <laughs> it's What's your profile picture? <laughs> That's the question. Huh? Oh, it's the 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 blank profile picture. I don't have one. Okay. All I right. just use so. it for for like scrolling through tweets because my actual Twitter I made for like 
a music thing I was doing like a decade ago. So fair enough. Yeah, it was your way of um, being able to say the N word in rap lyrics. <laughs> People look about a black Twitter. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Thank you. All right. Now <laughs> All right, we're moving on. Hold on. I want to say one last thing. One last thing about the Redskins, since you All brought right. it up and you pissed me off. Yeah, you're welcome. There would never be a better time than now for Dan Snyder to do this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's got There's, all the support in the world. You've got if he did this right now, the fans that he'd bring back would be huge. The fact that right now you even see what's happening in NASCAR as far as when NASCAR took the stand. And now you got guys like Alvin Kamara and everything. They're like, holy shit, I didn't know racing was this cool. He has an opportunity to be one of the people, the spearheads. I was wrong. Let's change this thing. My dad, who got me into Redskins, hasn't watched a game in five years. My brother, who was a season ticket holder for decades, has not watched or seen any Redskins-related games. He gave me a box full of his Redskins stuff, said I'm done. Um, do you have all the white liberals that are in D.C. where on Sundays the only thing they care about is getting mimosas in fucking – talking about soccer, goddamn piece of shit assholes, that if you bring them back into the fold, you can have this movement of people in D.C. When you see how many Reds, how many Nationals fans are like diehards in the city, how many Caps fans are diehards in the city, how from what I've been told, D.C. United fans are diehard in the city, Redskins fans want to be able to be proud of something. That they, they want to be able to come back, but they're not going to with all the bullshit that we have. There's a dude on Facebook or on Twitter right now who's trying to get the Washington Red Spears to be the name. I'm with him 100%. I love the name. You don't really got to change anything. It's same number of syllables in the song. Uh, you can keep the R logo. You can keep the Spears. I think it's an amazing idea, and it wouldn't be – it would be something that Dan Snyder could be on the right side of history for. And, and I, I They can just go with that. Defenders. They already have those jerseys printed. Yeah, and just have Vince McMahon sue us to bring the XFL back. Uh, I got you. No, here, here, here's what Dan Snyder's doing. He's got a list. He's got a list, and he's like, the last thing on the list is the name change. And he's just, like, checking them off to see if he gets fans back. He's like, remove statue. Check. COVID yeah. place. Check. And he's going down, and eventually he'll get to the bottom one, and he'll be like, fuck. All I still right. don't think the team had anything to do with moving the George Preston Marshall statue at RFI. Oh, no, I they think don't... these are all just his PR moves so he doesn't have to change the name. He's like, look, we're not racist. Look there. Yeah, it took look forever. There, we removed the statue. How... All right, Bobby Mitchell, he was black the first one. Let's give him a bunch of props. Yeah, like, that, he's going down what? his list of things that are alternatives to changing the name. Right. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, so you get off speaking, speaking about changing shit, 